the functions of the lymphatic system. Number one, they will the lymphatic system will absorb the excess water from the interstitial space. If you remember when we talk about capillary structure, here's the capillary, the arterial end, the venual end. The hypotonic pressure is pushing the fluid out. The osmotic pressure is pushing part of the fluid back in, but most of the water stays in the interstitial space. Okay, so the net movement of water is in the interstitial space. The lymphatic system, the lymph capillaries, are going to take in this water and they're going to, this will be like kind of the lymph capillary here, it will take in that water, the fluid's going to travel this direction, and it will go into lymph veins, which, which give rise to larger lymph veins and larger lymph veins. Okay, the second function we want to look at is that it absorbs lipid-soluble nutrients. Okay, lipid-soluble nutrients are the foods that you eat that have fat in them. So the fat from the digestive tract. We'll talk more about this when we get to the di digestive tract. But for right now, I want you to know that here's the person. Okay, we have our person here. We want to divide this into two different regions. We'll use a green marker here. We're going to divide it here so you can see the right side of the head, the right side of the neck, the right arm, and the right um, chest cavity or right thoracic cavity is going to be drained into the right lymphatic duct. The right lymphatic duct would be located somewhere right, right there, and the right lymphatic duct actually gives the lymph to the subclavian vein. Okay, the right subclavian vein is going to become the right brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalic vein is going to join with the left brachiocephalic vein to make the superior vena cava. And of course, the superior vena cava empties into the heart. Okay, on the left side of the body, you can see that we have the left head, the left neck, the left arm, the left thoracic cavity, all of the abdominal cavity, and both legs. These are all going to empty into the thoracic duct. So the thoracic duct um, will empty into the subclavian vein, brachiocephalic vein, and into the superior vena cava. So whenever we're talking about capillaries and we say a water molecule comes out of the capillary, it can enter the lymph, lymph capillary, end up going to your lymph veins. The lymph veins will eventually carry it either through the thoracic duct or the right lymphatic duct to dump it back into the bloodstream. Okay, the third function of the lymphatic system is that they, the lymphatic system with the lymph nodes are going to filter lymph. Okay, remember that lymph is the fluid in a lymph vessel. So here, just diagram here, here's your lymph node. You have several small lymph vessels taking fluid into the lymph node, and then the fluid would come out a lymph vessel. Um, inside the lymph node, you have T cells, B cells, and macrophages. All of these are types of white blood cells that are going to kill either bacteria or viruses, um, any foreign debris, so that this material leaving the lymph node is hopefully not going to have anything that's going to cause an infection or cancer cells in it. Those are the functions of the lymphatic system.